Howdy folks, welcome back if you happen to be new. My name is Mason George and normally we're playing with motorcycles. But today's video is completely different than anything I've ever done. This is my biggest purchase uh, yet. And when I say biggest, I mean both size and value. I don't even know what I got myself into, guys. <clears throat> 27 and a half foot fifth wheel camper, right? Oh, that's kind of crazy. No, no, no. The real crazy rig, this bad boy right here, 2009 Road Trek 210 Versatile is the actual model, but it is built on a Chevy 3500 Express chassis. And this thing is crazy. These things brand new, like if you want to get one today, I think they're like 175 thousand freaking dollars that is so much money and it is cool it is super cool i don't know if it's like a midwest house cool but it is really cool and uh let's do a little story time and i'll tell you guys how i acquired these huh so as you can tell looking at my trees there's burn marks on them big time if you're new to my channel our area, I live in Boulder Creek, California, and our whole area was affected by a major wildfire. I think it was the third largest in the state of California back in 2020, and we lost over 900 houses in Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond, and Felton, like in our little valley here in the Santa Cruz Mountains, which is pretty crazy because we are really close to the coast, and normally you expect the big fires to happen not so close to the coast but well it happened so bunch of houses burnt down thankfully my house did not and if you look we have nice clearing around it and i'm going to tell you right now that is super important but it got within 17 feet on this side it got like right up to my dirt bike track and you can see it burnt the redwoods over there blah 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 Let's get back to the RV situation here. So like I said, it burnt down over 900 houses and who knows how many off-grid situations because Santa Cruz County is a nightmare when it comes to building stuff. And that pertains to this story, unfortunately, as well. Anyways, the original owner of this camper here was a CZU fire victim. And I met this guy through motorcycles, like I do everyone else, serviced his bike. I gave him a ride home to his house, which was this on his burnt lot, with the van in the driveway. And um, we had talked about the fire situation before, whatever. But when I dropped him off, I was like, dude, is that your van? And he was like, yeah, you know, it was my mom's van and she had passed away. So I inherited it and I lived in it for a short time during the fire or after the fire. Um, so, uh, you know, it was just a two second conversation, right? A couple days later, cause I had his bike, I was doing a lot of work to it. Um, he had hit me up and was like, Hey, you had expressed interest in my van uh, would you be interested in buying it? And I was like, I didn't even get a chance to text him back. And he then he sent me a text and was like, it needs some work. It's been sitting, you know, I don't know exactly what's going on with it. Um, I stayed in it for a little while, got the fifth wheel, started staying in that, and then parked the van and didn't do anything with it. I think it sat for a year, something like that, year and a half. I was like, you know what? All right. I'm curious. I went over there. He only lives a couple miles away or lived a couple miles away. So I went over and I checked it out. While I'm checking it out, we get to talking and I knew he had planned on going to Alaska with his bike. I didn't know why or what. Well, it turns out he is hitting the road. He is at a point in his life where he is, I think he's going to semi-retire and hit the road and enjoy life. He just got a brand new puppy, which I was so stoked i got the chance to play with uh but long story short he tells me this and i go really so what are you doing with your fifth wheel are you taking it and he's like no you know i got a new camper for my truck blah 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 so i go oh you gotta sell the fifth wheel too he's like yep and i was like 
just out of curiosity, package deal for both of them. Let's make, uh, you know, we can make your life easier. You could hit the road, no worries. Your two biggest problems on your property will just be gone in one foul swoop because I'm that kind of dude. I love package deals. That's how you get the best deal on stuff. I am not a super wealthy dude. This is not stuff that I buy all the time, as in I've never had an RV before. I grew up poor. We didn't go camping in RVs. Not a thing in my life. I know diddly squat about these. In fact, everything I know I've learned in the last like four days. They're kind of a pain in the butt. Um, they're, they're awesome and everything, but there's a lot. You know, everything that's in your house is in this, only smaller and more complicated with switches. So it's all good though. I'm like beyond grateful and excited about this opportunity. I have two kids, so of course we're at some point we're gonna we're gonna be RVers. And I'm really you know, that's that's kind of neat. So yeah, now I own two RVs. My plan is to sell the fifth wheel as soon as I get it cleaned up and ready to sell. It has been lived in for the last year or so. It's not in horrible condition, but it needs a deep cleaning. It needs washed. And my friend is gonna let me borrow like his foam cannon thing and we're gonna clean it all up. Cause it, you know, it's just been sitting and lived in and all that good stuff. Thankfully, no major damage and no rodents. So that is awesome. The van on the other hand. The van is in good condition in the exception of it sat virtually empty for a while and he was starting it. So mechanically it works, it runs, it drives, it stops. It only has just under 28,000 miles on it. But because it was parked for a while, it got some mice in there. And if you look, I got an extension cord going there and we're, uh, we're trapping the mice. I've gotten a handful of them. Thankfully, just mice, no like crazy rats, but I want to make sure they're all out of there before we detail it. And a friend of mine has, I think what they call an ozone machine or something like that. And it would kill anything in there, but then you got to find it. So I was like, you know what? Let me trap for a couple days and we'll see if we can get everything out before we have to go like finding stuff. So nothing crazy there, but let's check out the insides of these things, huh? Unfortunately, it's getting a little bit dark and I don't have a battery in the van right now, but you can see, like I said, not horrible condition, 28,000 miles. So how bad could she be, right? All right, we got a little flashlight action. So yeah, you can see nice wood grain dash. Like I said, she's a Chevy 3500 Express chassis and it's got, uh, you know, all the RV goodies, sink, refrigerator, coffee maker, there's a bathroom and shower in there. The rear seat, don't mind the rat traps, it like is electronic, folds into a bed, air conditioning. But yeah, I gotta go through all this stuff. TV, gotta get it cleaned up. She's just a little dirty from, uh, from sitting. But what an awesome rig, huh? What an awesome rig. And onto the Arctic Fox. So yeah, like I said, she's a two slide out. So she's got a slide out there for the bedroom and then one for the living room. This is an add-on, this is an extra heater and he said it works really well. Oh, I'll turn the stereo off. Really nice sound system with like individual speaker control for outside, inside and the bedroom. Let's see, let's turn some lights on in here. So yeah, here's the bedroom. It's a little slide out with storage, a lot of storage in this unit. But like I said, she needs she needs a good cleaning. Let's go down here. We'll check out the living room. I got the slide out out. It also has central air. I need to figure out what is going on with this. I couldn't get it to work. So that's going to be something we need to check out. Nice mirror here. She's a little dusty, a little dusty, but... Uh, you know, nice, nice full dining room, chair, got the kitchen, tons of storage, refrigerator, stove, microwave, all the goodies, man. This thing is amazing. And it's in really good shape too. 
Real nice. Real nice. Oh, he left me chocolates. How sweet. How sweet. We got a mouse trap set just in case, but no mice in the last couple days, so I don't think there's any mice in here. You. This thing is rad. I could totally live in here. And a little fun fact, I actually did live in an RV for a sh super short time. But when I say I don't know anything about them, it was parked in my buddy's driveway. So I wasn't like using the RV bathroom and all that stuff to know how to do all the tanks and all that. I would just go into his house. It was 10 feet away. So I have been in an RV. I just don't know how to take care of one, right? Freaking massive. She's huge. Another fun fact, my truck came with a fifth wheel when I bought it years ago. I bought my truck, I think back in 2016 or 2017. That fifth wheel, the rails at least, I took the top part out, but the rails have been in my truck up until last year. And I finally took them out because I'm like, I'm never gonna use these things. I don't have a fifth wheel anything. Well, sure enough, now I have a fifth wheel, but the dude that I got it from uh, actually had it delivered, so I didn't have to use my truck, thankfully, but uh, it would be nice to be able to move around in the yard. Might have to dig those out of the shed and put them back in. Way she goes, way she goes. All right, guys, so yeah, I just had to show you my giant, awesome uh, purchase package deal intro to RVs and see what you guys think you know if you happen to be in the market for a fifth wheel camper let me know because like i said the arctic fox that thing should be ready in like literally a week i'm just gonna give it a really good clean the van it's gonna get a good clean but i need to do some other stuff to it as far as like a deep deep cleaning mechanically it runs it runs really good it has a six liter in it so just a legendary motor. My buddy had one in his truck and we used to, we nicknamed the truck the time machine because the thing is fast, torquey, like just a great engine. Can't go wrong there. But yeah, the, the RV, I'm, um, like I said, I'm doing a little bit more work to that. Also, my wife wants to maybe do a little trip or something. Our kids are little. So this is, this is a great rig. For like a retired person or possibly a retired couple i can't imagine like trying to do any more than two people in this thing but with the kids being little we could do a short trip so we might do that with her probably a good idea all right guys thanks for tuning in if you happen to be new don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one